Alright, Ella's vlog. Okay, another day, another review reaction. Ano naman tayo dito, mga kaibigan, dito sa Victory in Israel. Large scale air strike, successful uh, Iran jets can no longer move anywhere. Ano mga kaibigan, ha? Welcome to PPR Global. The tension between Iran and Israel took a new dimension in the morning hours today. Yesterday, during the U.S.-Israel conference on Operation Rafa, it was claimed that Israel informed the U.S. that it would strike Iran within 24 to 48 hours. U.S. authorities revealed the first details about Israel's planned reprisal strikes. According to U.S. media reports, Israel launched an airstrike on Iranian territory. A senior U.S. source confirmed that Israel fired retaliatory missiles at Iran early Friday morning local time. Mm -hmm. In addition to the attacks on the Iranian cities of Isfahan and Tabriz, Israel is apparently conducting extensive bombings in Iraq and Syria. Mm. In addition, Syrian reports on Friday morning indicated that the bombings targeted Syrian army sites in the southern Syrian governorates of Suwaida and Daraya. Mm -hmm. The Washington government denied knowledge of the strikes. The Israeli military announced tonight that it had targeted Iran's nuclear facilities, air defense system and radars. Mm. The Israeli military confirmed the strike by stating that the military air base in Isfahan, mm -hmm. Iran, and the radars defending the nuclear complex at Natanz had been targeted. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the recent developments in the region and see what message Israel is... Okay, ...sending to Iran with these strikes. Mm. According to allegations from anonymous U.S. officials, Israel has used missiles to strike many places within Iran. Mm -hmm. Officials reported powerful explosions in the Iranian provinces of Isfahan and Tabriz. <clears throat> explosions were reported in the northeast of Isfahan province, where the Iranian Air Force facility is located. Iranian officials later claimed that no missiles were utilized in the strikes and that only drones were observed in the area. Mm -hmm. One of the most significant details was that the Israeli drone strikes were explicitly targeting Isfahan. The agenda included reports of three drones flying in Kajavaristan near Isfahan airport and the Iranian Army Air Force's 8th Shikari base northwest of Isfahan. Mm -hmm. Following the discovery of the drones at the Iranian Army's Air Force base in Isfahan, Iran's FARS news agency said that explosions were heard near the airport in the central city of Isfahan, but the cause was unknown. Mm -hmm. This is because the area is home to a military installation from which Iran launches airstrikes on Israel. <laughs> Flights to Tehran, Isfahan, and Shiraz have been suspended, according to Iranian official media, following reports of an explosion in Kajavaristan. According to local media, the Israeli strikes targeted a squadron of F-14 Tomcat fighter jets based at the 8th Shikari Air Base. It is unclear whether the fighter jets were damaged. However, Iran was unable to evacuate the F-14 Tomcat fighter jets from the runway due to Israeli drone strikes on the Air Force's base area. Israel has also thwarted Iran's intentions for a swift reprisal strike. Mm. After the fighter jets were unable to take off from the runways, totally different events occurred at the airbase. Mm -hmm. It has been revealed that the drone strikes destroyed radar and radar detection equipment at the airbase. Mm -hmm. Iranian news agencies stated that air defenses were deployed near Isfahan in response to the small drones. According to a Tehran official, Iran's air defenses shot down three drones on Friday. Mm -hmm. According to state media, no large Yesterday, no, Friday. Okay, scale attacks or explosions were recorded following the bombings in central Isfahan. Mm -hmm. However, it is reported that the airbase had already been damaged and exploded before Iran's air defense systems were activated. According to Israeli military sources, Iran conducted its recent ballistic missile and drone attacks from this military site in Isfahan. Israel has demonstrated that it can strike at the source of attacks on its territory by launching drone strikes on Iran's military air station in Isfahan. On the other hand, a spokesman from the Iranian space agency denied a missile strike on Iran. Iranian state television said that air defense systems were activated across the country overnight to strike potential targets, but no direct hits or explosions were reported.
just me and Mary Mary bang klase talaga. Following the strikes, the International Atomic Energy Agency stated that Iran's nuclear facilities, including those in Isfahan, had sustained minimal damage. According to Hossein Delirian, an official at Iran's space agency, there have been no airstrikes on Isfahan or other regions of the country from beyond the border. Mm -hmm. Israel made only one unsuccessful attempt to fly a drone, which was shot down, according to the official. Iranian state media said that air defense systems were activated and three drones observed over Isfahan were destroyed. No. The Iranian official denied that there was a missile attack and that the explosions in Isfahan were caused by our air defense system. According to the semi-official Mare News Agency, around 04 or local time, three micro drones were shot down by low altitude air defense systems near Isfahan's 8th main jet base. The Iranian administration and media played down the simultaneous explosions and strikes in numerous locations, citing minimal material damage or casualties. Mm -hmm. However, the destruction of radar systems around the Iranian nuclear site, as well as damage to Isfahan airport and the runway of the Iranian Army Air Force's 8th Shikari base northwest of Isfahan, mm -hmm. contradict the allegations made by the Iranian media. Iran's failure to get fighter jets into the air, mm. as well as the targeting of the air defense system near the nuclear site, point to severe psychological harm. Israel's message against Iran was clear. Mm. With this small-scale attack rehearsal, the Israeli army sends a clear warning that it can breach Iran's air defenses at any time. On the other hand, Iranian air defenses were activated in Tabriz, mm -hmm. northeastern Iran, after a suspicious object was observed in the sky. Mm -hmm. Isfahan is a strategically vital city with bases, military R&D centers, and several important infrastructures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Natanz, a nearby city, houses one of Iran's nuclear enrichment facilities. Mm -hmm. According to Iranian government television, no nuclear facilities in Isfahan were damaged or targeted. On the other side, some social media users noted that the incident occurred on Iranian Supreme Leader, Supreme Leader ng Iran. Ali Khamenei's birthday. Mm -hmm. As we have seen, Israeli raids on Isfahan and Tabriz targeted Iranian military air bases and international airports, sparking widespread concern in the country. Although the authorities in Tehran have claimed that the air bases have been reopened for flights, warnings issued by governments throughout the world to their nationals in Iran suggest that the air facilities in Iran are still unsafe. <laughs> However, these sites include significantly more strategic Iranian resources. Mm -hmm. Iran has various nuclear facilities, including Natanz, the hub of the country's uranium enrichment program, mm -hmm. as well as Iranian Air Force bases throughout the province of Isfahan. There have been no reports of explosions at Iran's nuclear sites in these areas. Mm -hmm. Iran's state-run Tasnim news agency, citing a credible source, stated that the nuclear facilities in Isfahan province are entirely secure. Other Iranian media outlets agreed. U.S. officials have also stated that Israeli strikes are primarily aimed against Iran's military resources rather than nuclear installations. While Israeli military officials have verified the assaults on Iran, they have not commented on Iran's nuclear facilities, and the Israeli War Cabinet has not focused on precise information about the Iranian attacks at this time. Mm -hmm. But U.S. authorities continue to report on Israel's retaliation strikes against Iran. Former CIA Director John Brennan stated that intelligence services will try to establish the extent of the damage caused by the Israeli attack, as well as whether or if there were casualties, which might have put pressure on Iran to respond. A lot will depend on how much damage is done inside Iran, Brennan, who led the agency from 2013 to January 2017, stated. Brennan described Isfahan, located in central Iran, as a target-rich environment with an airbase, a missile production plant, and other places of potential interest. The city has been assaulted previously with a military base targeted in 2023. Mm -hmm. In other news, 
Israel's official radio reports that Israel has yet to claim responsibility for the attack on Iran. The Israeli military declined to respond to the explosions in the Iranian province of Isfahan. If an Israeli strike is confirmed, it appears to be a limited response to Iran's drone and missile attacks on Saturday. Retired General Israel Ziv told Israeli television that the attack appeared to be symbolic and would not drive Iran to respond violently. If only one military base in Isfahan is hit, Iran's retaliation is unlikely to be significant. The U.S. Embassy in Israel has issued a security alert for its personnel and their families in response to concerns of Israeli reprisal against Iran. The security alert limits personal travel for embassy personnel and their families to places beyond Tel Aviv, West Jerusalem, and Beersheba. According to the statement, this decision was made out of utmost caution in response to rumors that Israel had started a retaliatory attack against Iran. In short, according to a person familiar with the situation, Israel launched a limited military strike against Iran and is now assessing the scope of the attack and the damage caused. Iran's reaction could be molded accordingly. Thank you for following us. Simple lang mga kaibigan, explain natin sa panghuli. Okay, ito lang ang Christ victory in Israel. Ibig sabihin, paiyak. Paiyakan ang pag-victory ng Israel. Pero victory. Okay, ah... Large scale air strike successful. Ibig sabihin dito mga kaibigan ay malawakan or maramihan na binanata nila ang uh, uh, Iran. Okay, ganun paliwanag dito. Uh, ayun naman, nag-successful daw sila. Okay, ang Israel sa Iran. Okay, kaya naman ang, uh, ang Iran ay no longer, okay, no longer uh, move anywhere. Okay, ganun. Alam na, okay, hanggang dito na lang mga kaibigan na subscribe my channel. Don't forget nanod lang ako, okay, kasi nga nagtitrending ito ngayon sa social media, itong padali na ito, oh, medyo binabasa lang niya, pero magaling siya, dumali kasi nga about sa Iran at saka Israel ito, yung gira ha? na hanggang ngayon mga kaibigan ay walang katapusan, ang gira sa Israel at saka Iran kasi nga dumagdag pa itong Iraq oh? Saudi, Yemen oh, nako, baka World War 3 na ito drug tayo nito oh, damay ang mga Pinoy Kahit ikaw ay nan na, uh, kasi nga, ito pa ang China, mga kaibigan, gusto rin makialam daw dito. Pero wag naman sana, kasi nga ang Amerika nakikialam daw sa mga gira-gira na yan. Pero wag naman sana madama yung Pilipinas dyan sa mga ganyan. Bahala na sila. Okay, hanggang dito na lang. At subscribe my channel. Don't forget, comment. Bye-bye. Thank you.